it boys and girls welcome along to Crispy's Kiwi Adventures and Project Old Girl Project 80 series Land Cruiser right got a couple of wee projects we're going to tackle today um, one of them is hard wiring a compressor in for airing up those tires and also pumping up the mattress <laughs> the big air mattress and we've got a little spotlight floodlight that we're going to mount up on this bar here um, yeah just to basically Give us more illumination in the back here when I'm cooking dinner, uh, either for the kids or when I come back after a bit decent hunt. So, first of all, oh, this behemoth. So this is a Adventure Kings um, dual piston. Um, what they call it, a Thumper Max. <laughs> Sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? Um, it's a big jobby. It's um, running 90 amps. So she's got big drawer on it, uh, 125 psi max. So she's a beast, and I think it does around um, something around 300 liters per minute. So it's got some big volume. The only thing is, it comes with alligator clips, and I want to hardwire it in. So that's the uh, job we're going to do today. So I've got a couple of um, wires all hooked up, and we're going to set it up to the uh, auxiliary battery in the back here. So now. I purchased this through Adventure Kings NZ. Um, they are an Australian based company though and they had this to me within a couple of days from Australia to New Zealand. So thumbs up Adventure Kings uh, NZ. That's mean as turnaround and also the shipping is free. So can't complain at that. So it comes with the um, the pump, it comes with a, a, the compressor, it comes in on a wee stand as well if you want to have it portable. Um, it comes with big eight meter lead with an actual gauge and all the rest of it pump up your tires and then it also has a couple of little um, uh, attachments for your smaller things and also your needle for pumping up your balls like soccer balls and rugby balls so all in all um, real good construction pretty impressed reviews on YouTube uh, this guy is actually outperforming a lot of other brands at the moment just with speed um, so it's pretty cool it's got a thermal cutout inside built in but I think in time I will put a circuit breaker by the um, battery as well I'm not going to do that today because I haven't got one but I think I'll still do it as a safety backup but in this video you won't see me put one in you'll just see me hardwire it straight to the battery uh, and then utilizing the thermal cutout within the actual um, compressor itself and then secondly picked up a cool little uh, floodlight no, I actually got this from Shooter Supplies believe it or not um, and yeah they've, they've just bought in this range of uh, LED spots light bars and spotlights for your vehicle so yeah not just the hunting shop guys <laughs> they cater for your four-wheel drive as well so yeah nice little cheap little uh, spotlight and that's gonna sit up on here uh, wired into a switch in the back here and that'll just um, illuminate this entire area I will be able to pivot it as well and shine it back into under the awning where we have the awning and, and eat our dinner so yeah so enough rambling let's get on with it now uh, get these installed all righty guys so this is the place i'm gonna this is the spot that i've allocated for it um it is going to be out of the way um i could have dropped it down into the hole there and actually put it into that area in there but I figured it might not have very good airflow around it and I know these things get quite hot so I'm going to mount it there it is going to be visible but I'm not too worried the seat itself will still come back and sit there it'll be on both sides uh, it'll be a little bit out of the way too which is quite cool um, won't affect too much of the storage in the back here um, and in time I might even put a wee um, maybe a wee aluminium shroud across there I'm not too worried but as you can see I've got an issue uh, this piece here doesn't extend far enough so what I'm going to do guys is we're going to take this piece out we're going to make a new piece uh, up to here that long uh, will still be hinged and you'll see why later on um, it'll still be hinged because um, under there as you can see there's tools so this will actually fold down with this actual lid and yeah it will all still function nicely as well hopefully <laughs> it will function nicely 
uh, as still being a, uh, a lid with storage underneath it. So yeah, so and then we'll run the cable down and under the carpet, across here, and into there where my um, auxiliary leisure battery is. And of course this thing has a switch on the back, on off switch, um, and I'll be able to access that um, anytime I want. And the hose itself, we'll probably, we might even just, we might even mount that hose up there out of the way. There's a wee bracket there, I might make something up and uh, have that mounted up there. So, yes, very cool. Let's get on with it. Alrighty guys, so I've just whipped that out, and as you can see, I've got tools. This actually, this little kit actually uh, sits down in there. I've got a wee spade, some crescents, and an axe down in there. So, yeah, I pulled that off. Gonna, I've measured out what I need to do, what I need to extend there. Um, so I'll put that on the ply. We'll cut that out. I've also uh, whacked that little spotlight on. So, as you can see, it's um, quite tight to the <laughs> tailgate, <laughs> but that's alright, and I should be able to spin that, maybe, yeah, I'll be able to spin that round to go that way. So, very cool. Alrighty guys, so let's get into cutting this bit of ply for the new base for the compressor. guys perfect fit just nice and of course once that's uh once we screw those hinges in that will fold up out of the way i'll still be able to get my recovery gear for under there and my tools from down and underneath so i've still got a bit of this material this is actually just a um just a hard rubber that looks like checker plating so we'll stick a bit of that on there and then we'll mount the uh Compressor. Alrighty guys, so that's all cut. <laughs> I even got uh, these to match up, quite accidentally. <laughs> I seem to be quite lucky like that. But that's all cut, so now all I've got to do is glue this piece down. I've sprayed the edges of this, and that is all hinged quite nicely now. So it'll pop up like that with the uh, compressor attached to it. And I'll still be able to reach down in there. Alrighty. So, let's glue this on. Alrighty, there we go guys. So that's all glued down. I have pretty much put the compressor where I want it to be. And we just need to screw it down. Right, let's screw it down. <laughs> Now 
Now, I'm not gonna screw and tighten this right down. Uh, it came with some rubber grommets when it sat on its own little platform, so obviously it shakes around a bit. So the idea is I'll leave this a bit loose and the rubber of the matting here can actually act as a damper as well. So, right. There we go guys, fully mounted. So as you saw, I just lift that, just pull that, and that lifts that whole lid. Leave it down there, and it is mounted nice and tight. So now, we will clip these, solder on some cable, I won't bore you with all of that. Attach these so it's a little bit longer, and fire these through into the battery. And then we'll see if it runs. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so there you go, she's all mounted in, um, it's quite cool actually, it's quite slimline against the back of the truck there, I've run the cable down and through the back here, um, down under here, under the carpet, as you can see she pops up out of the carpet here into the back of the box and straight into the battery, now at the moment I've pretty much gone negative and to positive, but what I will do is I might put an inline circuit breaker just up against here on the timber, just as a secondary precautionary measure. But that's pretty cool. Put all this back because you know the proof is always in the pudding, isn't it? <laughs> Does it work? Well, let's see. So as you can see, I can still reach over and... It works! It's noisy. Oh well guys, I've had to pretty much abandon putting this one up here. Oh, there is a light up there. <laughs> yes, I've had to change them over guys. Um, this one, it's a hardwired light. This one up here is actually a battery pad. It's got a rechargeable battery that I can plug into my port over there and I can charge up. It just doesn't last very long. Um, it sort of lasts an evening and that's about it. But, um, it's two different settings, um, oh, flashes too, didn't realise that. <laughs> but, I don't have to worry about wires with that, and what I've been trying to sort out for the last half an hour is where the heck to run my wires into the truck. I've had this light off, I've been looking... And, I mean, ultimately, really, I want to get across to these switches over here and then into there to fuse it. And without compromising the actual body of the truck and drilling holes into it, there is no easy way of running any cables. So I flagged that idea. Um, I'll stick with my little portable one. It is actually quite a good one. You can undo this and spin it round. And you can actually, you take the battery off and it's quite a slim line little thing. It just, it's very close to the tailgate. Um, but yeah, it does the job. Um, I don't know how waterproof it is. Um, but so far it seems to work. But I think I'll stick with that. I may, however, um, mount this one up here somewhere. 
so that it actually um, I can drop it down and, and illuminate this back area um, but uh, yeah either that or it might just end up yeah on a pole on a plug or something as a auxiliary light so yeah but look at that guys we have the compressor in bolted up and as you heard before running <laughs> But um, so that's real cool. Works in there nicely. The seat comes back, actually hides it a little bit, and it's nice and uh, snug against the side of the truck. So job well done. And I can still flip that open, open, and access all my tools that are in there. So very cool. Very happy. Um, what's next on the list? Well, I've got some aluminium ordered, uh, and yeah, it's going to involve the tailgate. Uh, and this drawer here We're gonna oh look at that it's still a bit messy from my last trip So we're gonna totally and utterly reconfigure this drawer and it's gonna have a swing out um, cooker and sink so That's next on the list coming up and then we're going uh, Water tank underneath water tank and a grey water catch tank. So yeah It's getting there so there you go guys, thanks heaps for uh, joining me on this little project, um, I know it didn't quite work out with the uh, light, but hey, that will still work fine, um, and yeah, it means I don't go drilling holes through the truck and trying to mess around with wires and stuff, but yeah, and the compressor, man I'm stoked with that, that's going to be an absolute game changer, uh, my wife even came out before and says, oh will it pump up the, uh, the paddle board? Yeah, of course it will. <laughs> it means I won't have to be up and down, up and down on the old manual thing. So that's going to be awesome. So go to uh, Adventure Kings NZ. Uh, check them out. I'll make sure the link is in the description. They have some pretty awesome products. Their prices are very sharp and they're good products. My truck is pretty much covered in, in their gear. Uh, awnings and tent and all the rest of it. I uh, also bought something just recently uh, as well. And I'm going to test that out on my next little hunting trip a little fire a little fire box dare i say it with a chimney and a whole lot and cook on it and everything so i'm really excited about using that so awesome gear awesome gear check them all out quick as delivery um you'll be impressed you'll be very impressed so cheers guys and thank you for hanging out with me and until the next one happy hunting <laughs>